What's up YouTube, this is Kyle here coming back to you with another Mining Shed video. In today's video, we're unboxing my Ant Miner L7. That's right, it's finally here. Six months late, doesn't matter, we're just happy it's here. Let's get it unboxed and let's get this thing plugged in. All right, so here it is. Um, I did already open it just to inspect it for shipping, but haven't plugged it in or anything. Literally just opened it to look inside and make sure everything looked good. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed and let's see what it looks like. All right, so here it is. I mean, it's not perfect. You can tell um, it's been used slightly as you expect with these machines, but overall, it's in pretty good shape. Pretty stoked about it. I'd say we're uh, looking pretty good. Gonna need to go ahead and get this thing all dialed in and whatnot. Um, but oh that reminds me where I'm gonna be plugging this in I need to wire the outlets for it's uh, one of the few spots I have left whoops one of the few spots I have left to wire still so I'm gonna have to get wiring first so let's queue up a little montage and see if we can't get this thing hooked up here pretty quick. Man, it's hot back there, but we got it all wired up. It's ready to go. Uh, we gotta cut some holes in this insulation behind me to get the new miner in place, and then we can plug it in and see how this baby runs. My L7 just went, or my L3 just went down. It's flashing red on me.
while this thing boots up. One thing I'm a little worried about is my cooling situation because we're getting more heat in here and it was already getting kind of hot on the hot days. So we're gonna need to add another fan up in this corner here, I think. Um, I've already got the shelf to add over here and stuff, but we're gonna need to order another fan and get that all dialed in before the summer. So stay tuned for that video. All right, got all logged in here. We got the L7 not running right now. I mean, it's on, but I haven't set up my pool stuff, so I need to do that. All right, so I'm in here in minor stat. Uh, I'm gonna add a new worker. Oh, I'm gonna have to upgrade, hang on. All right, got that all upgraded. We've now got another worker. Um, all my names are um, phonetic things, so I'm gonna continue that, and I'm gonna put Foxtrot. We got that, like Foxtrot. And we gotta change the type to ASIC miner. It's an ant miner. We have the IP address. Username and password. And we're gonna add it. Those groups are relevant. Um, those are important for my Raspberry Pi up here, which is a specific group that it looks on the network and adds devices to automatically. So we should see this pop up here momentarily and come online. Um, it might take a couple minutes for it to find it. All right, looks like it recognized it, showing um, uptime of nine minutes, which is about right. But we're not hashing, of course, because we haven't put in our credentials yet. So I got to upload a profile to this. Um, I already have a L3 mining, so this should be a pretty easy thing. Um, I just have to go in and remember how to do it. Uh, I don't remember if I've done it on here or or what. So let me do some thinking and I'll get back to you. All right, got it all working. Mining away. Right now it's estimating $1,000 a month. This is my power usage here. So we still gotta let it stabilize for a while. The speed's probably a little off, but um, that gives you an idea of what it's like to set up a new amp miner L7. She's hashing away, gonna produce some income for us, and hopefully profits will go back up soon. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that video. I know it was kind of all over the place, but that's kind of what it takes to do this. Um, we had to, what, we had to wire the power meter, we had to plug everything in, we had to make an ethernet cable because ethernet cables are expensive, so I have a box, I like to make them myself, even though I'm not very good at it. And then we got it all plugged in on the computer. We had to jump through a few hoops there just to make it work. Um, it's not as easy as some people make it out to be. I mean, it can be, but when you want to do it the right way where you're able to have remote monitoring and all that stuff, you got to put a little extra work in. And if you want to keep costs low, you got to do things yourself like I do. So if you like this video, leave a like down below. Uh, leave a comment telling me what else you want to see. Um, I do all sorts of stuff. I'm in real estate. I do this Bitcoin stuff. I do some other things here and there. If you want to see more of my life, more of my businesses, uh, let me know down below. I'd love to share it if you guys are interested in it. Um, as for future upcoming videos here, we still are going to be putting that fan in hopefully in the next month or two. Um, as it gets hotter and I'm forced to do it, that's probably when it'll get done, honestly. Um, but yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. All right, peace.